Hi everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Creatainment. Today, we are going to discuss about another important psychological topic that is neurodevelopmental disorders. Somebody might have heard about it. Somebody might have a basic understanding about it. Today, we are going to have a clear-cut understanding and a detailed understanding about neurodevelopmental disorders. Okay, neurodevelopmental disorders are actually connected with two terms, neurology and development. Most of them are basically originated from some neurological environments or neurological deficits. Dear viewers, before beginning the class, let me tell you, the topic that we are going to discuss today is highly useful for everyone, especially psychology educators and learners and parents. So, in CBSE board exam and for UG and PG course of psychology, the topic that we are going to discuss today will be highly useful. So I request everyone to like and share this video so that it will be reached to everyone who likes this and also who want to know more about it. So I also request to subscribe our channel so that more psychology related videos will be reached to you. One of the most important characteristics of neurodevelopmental disorders, it is appeared in the early stages of development, means it is seen in the early stages of schooling. So parents and teachers and the people who are related to children should be very careful about their behavioral characteristics. If they are identifying the signs of these neurodevelopmental disorders in the earlier stages, the curing will be more easy. Let us go through these important characteristics one by one. And the first and primary most important characteristics is this. It is being manufactured in the early stages of development. When the person is a child, the symptoms and signs are clearly seen and symptoms will be appeared before schooling and early stages of schooling and if a child is actually having neurodevelopmental disorders they'll be having problem with personal it may hamper their personal social academic and occupational functioning and last point they may be either delayed in achieving age particular or age appropriate behavior what is age-appropriate behavior? A behavior that is suitable for an age group. Sometimes deficits or excess in a particular behavior may be there. Deficits means absence. Certain behaviors may be absent. And excess means? So, the first one among them, ADHD. Okay, so just going through the uh, symptoms. Okay, one by one. Inattention is very common. You know that the children will make enough headache for parents, teachers, everyone. But we also know that uh, they have a bundle of energy within them. They have a bundle of energy within them. If it is treated properly, if it is channelized properly, they will be able to achieve great things in their life. And it, inattention is very common and they might be easily distracted. Okay, parent might be asking them to be Focused on writing. Yes, okay. Write this. Okay, A, A, B, C. Very next moment, they will go and observe. Go to observe uh, one of the cockroach or something moving towards the wall or someone, somewhere. Okay. The uh, sometimes the teacher may give an activity. Okay, to be done. Or a mathematical calculation. Okay. Within 10 minutes, you want to complete this task. He may complete it within 4 minutes. And he, when he sees 6 minutes are left. Okay, or during those six minutes, he may disturb other children who are actually doing these things. This happens. They may get easily distracted. They won't be able to focus on a particular point. Hyperactivity is very common. Okay, always there will be motion. Okay, movement here and there without concentrating, without being somewhere. Okay, within minutes, they will uh, cover almost 500 meters. Okay, by moving here and there, there, here, every time. Okay, and they may break the things sometimes. They may play with even the things which should not be used for playing. Impulsivity, unable to come. Okay, impulsivity, unable to control immediate reactions. Okay, difficulty to wait for their turn. Chances for injuries, all these are very common in ADHD. But the modern psychologists have identified that. If we are able to channelize this bundle of energy in a proper way, means it is attention deviated into a higher dimension. Instead of attention, deficits, hyperactivity, disorder. 
second one autistic spectrum disorder or autism spectrum disorder have you ever seen a child with autism have you ever thought of these children and the uh, extra work that is being taken by their parents and teachers and trainers is it easy actually so if you are actually seeing those uh, the works of their parents and their teachers actually we will salute them okay because that much efforts will be taken by these children who are suffering from autistic disorder and almost 70 percentage of children with autistic disorders now they will be having intellectual disability also associated with this disorder okay sometimes they may will show some aggressive behaviors towards other children okay all these are very common and uh, you know uh, even though they are making someone someone hurt okay even it is their mother or father okay sometimes they won't be even uh, what feeling regret or regretful about this or guilty about this okay they won't even mind others emotions sometimes but you know some one thing sometimes a few autistic children will be highly talented in some particular areas of their talent or life like singing ability musical intelligence may be very high sometimes uh, bodily kinesthetic intelligence may be very high so main and key idea of autistic autistic spectrum disorder impairments in social interaction and communication skills impairments in this is the main idea impairment in social interaction okay most often they will be dependent to someone very dear and even to them like father mother or some siblings okay or the person who is taking care of them and they won't be even interacting with any other from outside any other person from outside if it is a social situation they will be getting easily disturbed and they won't initiate any communication okay stereotyped patterns of behaviors restricted range of interests okay if i ask you okay let us go out and play many of you will be interested 99 percentage will be interested let us uh, watch a movie 99 percentage will be interested okay let us go for a world tour or let us uh, listen a music every most of us will be interested but for these people their interest sir will be very very less and it will be restricted to something very few strong desire for routine whatever they are doing that routine, they will be uh, interested only in that they are not even ready to come out from the routine okay that should, that's why uh, usually the children won't be able to go uh, travel somewhere and uh, spend their life in some some other places even for higher education or anywhere because they will be more attached to their family or the school where they are daily going okay they will be disturbed if they are outside of their room intellectual disabilities are very common in almost 70 percentage of children so these are the signs these are some indications of that disorder frequent hand flapping frequently walking on tiptoes walking on tiptoes repetitive head banging like this okay sometimes banging on the wall sometimes okay on the floor then consistent fussiness of screaming in public public places even for silly things okay making screaming noises sounds pouring drinks back and forth i told you no pouring drinks back and forth one of the common signs which is found in autistic children okay excessive aggressive behavior lacks response to voice verbal commands okay you know uh in the about the case of autistic children like i might call okay jubin jubin okay what are you doing they won't even mind at you got it lack of response to voice or verbal commands avoids eye contact and lack of speech and communication one of the common symptom and sign to problems with food textures clothing etc so these are the signs when we come to main other symptoms they have difficulties in relating to others as we already told unable to initiate social behavior okay and unable to even initiate communication okay unresponsive to others feelings i told already then unable to share experiences or emotions to other people all these are very common in these type of children and 
serious abnormalities in language communication might be present difficulty to develop language repetitive and deviant speech patterns self injurious behaviors okay and iq will be approximately below 70 these are some of the common symptoms and characteristics of uh, autistic spectrum disorder intellectual disability al already we learned no below average intellectual functioning is there uh, iq will be below 70 difficulties in communication learning academics self care and everything so uh, if uh, okay you know already we learned that there are cases mild moderate and severe when it comes to severe cases even they won't be able to uh, deal in their life skills and the uh, daily routines also will be very difficult for everything they may be in need of an extra help okay manifested before 18 years but it will be continued even after that and the treatment is very difficult in these cases specific learning disorders the last point difficulty in perceiving and processing information we all when we think about learning disorders just recollect about learning disabilities also but i told that learning disabilities can be treated okay but learning disorders are not very easy to get treated as they are caused by neurological abnormalities and manifested during early school years okay difficulty with basic skills reading writing and mathematics below average academic performance okay so as an example you can just write that a calculia a calculia is a mathematical problem which is caused by neurological deficits then alexia it is just similar to dyslexia but the reason will be different okay alexia alexia is a speaking problem and reading problem both are actually coming under it agraphia writing problem agraphia hope you all have understood today's lesson and i request everyone to like and share this video so that it will be reached to everyone especially the psychology educators and learners okay so uh, also please subscribe our channel so that it will be the new videos will be reached to you so early so thank you so we will meet again with an another episode till then bye bye